Good morning everyone. It's me here after a very big delay. Four hours to be exact. I hit the button at the 12 noon. I figured that uh, I've given myself enough rest, whatever it was, well mostly sort of passed, uh, passed through, <laughs> whatever it is, doesn't matter. I'm here now and I'm Ros Boundy Psychic Medium here to do the daily Lenormand card spread reading as it would have been at 8 a.m. which was four hours ago but it's here now at noon. I'll shift over to the cards <laughs> pretty quick and good morning to you Judy, good morning to you Kat, oh happy new year, you haven't been on since then, it's lovely to see you for the first one that you've tapped into live, that's wonderful. And Nat, good morning to you. And <laughs> I like that you corrected your spelling, did you, Judy? I <laughs> yes, you were wondering what was going on. I did have some lovely personal messages wondering how I was and sending some love and a bit of healing. So that was lovely. Thank you to those who you know who you are. So I just could not get out of the bed. That's okay. Uh, sometimes we do need that extra rest or whatever it is, okay? It is nurturing self when we honour that. So I figured I just had to let the programmed schedule to live stream go past as it would have and deleted and etc. So we're here now on a fresh newy and etc. Look, we're here for the reading. Let's shift over to it. Connect into your guiding spirits and tap into what they're showing you as I go through these cards. And good morning, Marianne. And <laughs> good morning, Rena. Lovely. Oh, we've gone back to that other profile photo. Oh, I know. Hi, oh, you thought I'd missed you? Uh, no, well, yeah, who knows? It could have been entirely that I wasn't going to be able to do uh, through any part of the day today. I feel like I've missed it when I haven't shown up for the day, when I haven't brought myself to being present for my own card readings, let alone for everyone else. So I just love to share it at the same time. So um, as you know, I love doing this and it would have felt a bit odd without having done something through the day. Good morning, Michelle. I am all good. Lord, well, all good, am I? As, as much as each and every one of us can be. I do feel fresher. I do feel a little bit more lively and alive. Probably not as flexible as I would like to be, but you know, that's what life brings us, isn't it? <laughs> you like to mix it up a bit, do you? You're traditionally to the other pro. Oh, you're transitioning to the other profile as well. Yeah, I understand that. It's all good, isn't it? Now, here we go over to the cards. So we've got that there. And I'm going to welcome each and every one of you from my YouTube channel, from my Facebook profile, from my Facebook page, the MyTimeTV.live page as well as the Body Soul app. I have got uh, that running into that app. I haven't got my iPad here to monitor if there is anyone chatting on it. I can't bring you into the screen like I can with these wonderful people either. So uh, if you are there on the Body Soul app, welcome. Hi, and it's lovely to see you there. Um, Happy New Year and thank you, James. Lovely to see you here too. And Rosie. Good morning to you. Yes, we all need to listen to our body when it needs it. Absolutely. And that's what I had to. <laughs> I just had to this morning. I couldn't wake up properly. Like Whatever. Whatever the reason, who knows. So what we're looking at with our cards today, we've got the owl card. And that is respect is earned, honesty is appreciated, trust is gained and loyalty is returned. Very interesting card since I've had a little interaction with a person on the Mount Gambia uh, by self swap site. I do put one post in preparation for when we go visit with our road trips, Leanne and I. I put one post to let people know that we're coming and, you know, it's only 10 days away, 10 sleeps or whatever. Interesting what some people's opinions are. <laughs> and mostly I allow it to whirl past. Very interesting. But, uh, yeah, so respect. And in a Soul Guidance Oracle, that is Leanne and Deb's card deck that they both created. It's beautiful. And the card we've got from this, it's a double number, so it brings us more power with this. The web, the hard work is behind you and it's time to look forward. And isn't that so true? We've had a lot of hard years in the last few, I feel. 
And it is. I'm feeling a release, a change, something that is being created that's absolutely oh, exciting and an adventure ahead. And we do need to remember that. I'm going to actually leave that one there this time because of the beautiful colours. And by now, most of you know what the decks are that we use and that I do use the Gilded Reverie Lenormand deck for these readings. That's the one I purchased a long, long time ago, wasn't it? So, well, it feels like a long time ago. <laughs> I probably purchased them five years ago and I've been doing the live stream readings with them for three coming up very much next month or the one at March, I think I started doing them. Here we go with the child in our home space and we've got that clover in the workspace. I loved it when I saw that. We've got the moon in the unexpected, the birds in our role and we have the storks as that pivotal outcome role. So, it, or pivot. I, I just like to feel it is the central energy. So we are on the change up. Things are being reorganised and changed up. So here with the child in that home space, it is school holiday time. We've got plenty of kids around riding their bikes past our driveway here or the yard, dogs barking at them and everything. And it's just an adventure really of what's ahead that's in that child likeness that you'd like to also put into the mix in your home space. I've actually got some colouring in books here. Well, they're colouring in puzzle books here that I'm looking at to just do some designing and some crafting of some sort. So that's what I've got in my home space in the physical sense. It could be just that childlikeness from your heart, bringing in that beautiful innocence and just, you know, that, that feeling of discovery of what's moving forward for you and being present in your day in your home space. Hi, Kylie. Lovely to see you here. So we're going to move that over into our workspace and that energy I feel is following us a little bit because the clovers are about a good luck. They are about really feeling into the energy of the, uh, and it's a fullness, it's of expectation. I feel it's actually the, you know, if we put that intention there that everything we're doing through our day and our work's going to be like that magic good luck, finding the good the four-leaf clover, it really is bringing that to us. It's falling into place that we've, it's not just the, the lucky find, it's there as the intention and create that for your workspace that everything that you are have already done today will complete by the end of the day in bringing that good luck forward in so many ways that it's going to be, oh, clap your hands, excitement stuff. <laughs> and here we have the moon in that unexpected. It is that those moments where you're needing to nurture yourself. And I think for me, as far as that's how I started my day, uh, I think for each and every one of you, that's going to be a different moment or two that you can sit with the energy of that feminine moon, that gentleness, that nurture know that there are some cycles that may need to be gone through for that, you know, drinking more water, put your feet up, rest just for a moment and then feel more rejuvenated when you get back up to get back into the fray. Well, it's not a fray. Get back into that energy of positiveness in your workspace that, oh, what sort of good luck am I going to create now? You know, that sort of thing. Part of that with our own energies in this today, it is the communication. It's actually having those good things to um, pass on to others. Well, it's not necessarily good either. It's just communication. It can be good or bad. But do we really need to actually be judgmental about what we're conversing, what we're sharing with others? Um, so long as it's not the gossip to put the negatives deliberately to others and, and have that intention, that won't bring that good luck. It won't bring about anything that's in that sense of um, uplifting others and moving us forward in those positive lessons that we're needing to, you know, those lessons that we're needing to learn. Even I should put in a little positive there. Um, it is what it is. Just share how you're feeling with others. Share what's needing to be done in in ways that are understood and not taken as those misunderstandings. And even like respecting, we've got the card with the owl. It is, it's respect, it's honesty, it's trust, it's loyalty. Bring that to the table from your centre first. That's what it's telling us with this, okay? And that's going to bring about that, you know, here we are, we're, we're changing things all the time in our in our space, whether it's the home space or the workspace. 
we're changing it around so that it actually does move us forward, keep us going so that, you know, what we're needing as that next step, we're prepared for, that we've got that setting in that space that's going to suit most specifically for that purpose. Um, because each and every one of us has resources that are different because we're all unique individuals. So tap into that, be honest to self, be respectful, honest, trusting, and uh, what's the other one? That loyal to yourself and stand in what power you have, what resources you have, what skills you have, what your actual likes and dislikes are and follow where you feel most comfortably led with the guidance of spirit. That's why it's important to have that spiritual connection in whatever way suits you, whatever way you understand best and take that guidance and move it forward. Actually have it as uh, something that is concrete and actionable because it's all well and good and I'm going to just shift this to there. It's all well and good to use these tools to give us some understanding and some guidance but we actually need to be then taking that next step of, um, you know, is it an absorption? Is it just a fully integrated understanding but into that next action that we are stepping into? And showing others that we are actually living our truth, what we've decided and taken up as being our truth at that soul level. So wonderful to um, be able to share this with you from my understanding. You tap into what is from your own understanding. You know best what you have around you in the situations and resources, your skills, your loves, desires, what you, your passions even, if there's something that you know you're called here on this earth, earth at this time that you're needing to do, do it. Follow that pathway. Weave that beautiful web as we had in the cards today. So, oh, good, good afternoon, Rhiannon. Should you leave? No, why should you leave? You might want to actually watch from the restart as a replay as well. Um, I don't do the individual. <laughs> uh, I see what you mean. No, because there's two here. Tracy, you're asking for individualised messages. Um, normally, I would have done this at 8 o'clock this morning. I wasn't feeling uh, up to it at that point in time. I actually didn't. So I decided I'd go live and do that now, as in I hit the button at 12 noon. Whether that was a significant timing, it's just when everything was ready and I was ready to go forward with it. So that's, uh, so Rhiannon and Tracy, go back and watch the replay from the start while where the message of the cards themselves start to come into it. You might not want to go into uh, listening to all of my, you know, the, the, the lead in. Uh, which I do every morning, <laughs> but it was at noon. Um, thank you, Michelle, for that. And I am having a restful day. A little bit of work mixed in because I can't totally do nothing. But, you, you know, we're all different personalities. So I like to have a little bit of action doing in my day. And it usually is in front of this screen. But anyway, thank you so much for all your well wishes too for those who did message me. Thank you for those who are watching in replay and to each and every one of you for being here and and allowing yourselves to receive what messages you need to from the way that spirit will connect with you okay so thank you each and every one of you thank you and blessings to you too Rhiannon now I'll um, leave it there keep being the best you and a namaste until tomorrow morning at about the eight o'clock hopefully yes <laughs> okay have a great day Rosie as well thank you bye for now